Now, if there is any dedicated group of old computer users, it is certainly the people who still love their Coco, the Tandy Color Computer. We start with a visit to the Color Computer Users Group in Santa Clara, California. Though the Radio Shack Color Computer is no longer rolling off the assembly lines, there are still plenty of happy Coco users. Nicknamed Coco by its fans, the Color Computer has been the entry-level computer for over a million computer users and programmers. And despite its age, it was first introduced in 1980, it's still being used by many diehards. The keys to continuing that success, the success is the affection that it has in the minds of the u users. This was often people's first computer, a computer that they could learn with that was inexpensive enough to experiment with. Your local Tandy store may no longer provide much support for the Coco user, but the color computer owners themselves still get together at user group meetings to develop new programs and solve old problems. The support one gets from joining a users group uh, is that you meet other Coco users, exchange programs, uh, sh uh, show and tell, get help with programming and hardware problems, and exchange equipment. No one can do everything all themselves. Some people are good at hardware, others at programming, and others at putting it all together. In addition to thriving users groups all over the country, the Coco still has its own magazine called Rainbow. The color computer operates under OS9, an operating system which provided Coco owners with multitasking long before MultiFinder or Windows ever came out. In addition to its multitasking capability, faithful users have an endless list of reasons why they still use their Coco. This computer is a computer that can be afforded by any television viewer that assumes that they have electric power and a television set. Uh, I chose the Coco also because of its excellent programming environment, because it is well understood, because it's a modular system, and because there's some excellent software, though some of it has to be purchased mail order. Mail order, since very few computer stores, even Tandy stores, sell software for an orphan computer. But Mark Paulson says in the end, every PC becomes an orphan. We are part of a dying breed living in the twilight of the cocoa, but so too is anyone else who owns a computer because the life cycle of these products is very short. But through the loyalty and creativity of Coco users, the color computer, like the old Royal Portable Typewriter, will never die. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Maria Gabriel.